In this video we're going to be taking a look at Davenport, Iowa. We begin with a bird's eye view map from 1888 provided to us by the Library of Congress. So I'll put the link in the description. A lot of fun to peruse these old bird's eye view maps. And if we hop over to the Wikipedia page for Davenport, we're told that it is the largest of um, the Quad Cities in that area. But the population demographics for Davenport itself, a modern day puts it just over 100,000 people. We like to look back into this area, uh, 1,900, 35,000 people. So much of what we're going to see coming from this time frame here. Not a large city by any means. And if we look around on this bird's eye map from 1888, they do show um, several of the other cities as a part of that quad. Quad City, Moline, Rock Island, and then you have the island, which is the U.S. arsenal, military uh, um, infrastructure there. But even in this early time period, 1888, so about 25,000 people according to the census, and we're looking at A nicely laid out city with very large factories and on these bird's eye view maps they do provide us with uh, a lot of the locations um, for the buildings that supposedly existed at the time or did exist at the time and it's, uh, it's a lot of fun to look through there and uh, get a feel for what they were trying to portray for the city at that time period. There's the old courthouse. We'll take a closer look at that. Davenport, Iowa. Let's uh, show you the file I have for Davenport. We begin with the First National Bank. We are told uh, one of the first, if not the first, bank to open in America. Kind of strange. Herringbone um, brick pattern on the street. You can see the rail car lines here. And uh, the nice little windows that look like they're gated off. Nice looking structure. I believe the hospital we'll be taking a look at a little bit later in a black and white version. I always love the old stacks, the big, big brick stacks. A lot of work goes into building those. The Davenport. I believe it's a hotel. Uh, a little more information on that uh, with a YouTube link. I'll provide that for you. And just giving us a bit of a view of uh, what Davenport once looked like with its domes and spires. Some beautiful old mansions as well. This is, uh, I always really enjoy these, uh, these old uh, domiciles with the gated roof. That's a lot of trouble to go to, to decorate one's roof. And we have a residence here with what looks like a bell, bell tower of some sort, which would seem a bit strange for a residence. And we'll be looking at this church a little later as well um, in a color photo. But no shortage of uh, stone churches in Davenport, Iowa. And this is a little snip from um, an early map, supposedly dated 1857. Um, wouldn't have been many people living there according to the census. Um, I would say about 10,000 people. And you can see they're already depicting these uh, domed, inspired 
structures at that early time period. It's very interesting. And of course they had their Colosseum. You can see the horse and buggy out here. So early time period, quite a large structure, very interesting. You have this uh, harp shape here with the flag above it. The flag doesn't look right either. The flag looks a bit long, doesn't it? What do you think? Could it be drawn in? Here's one of those factories that we saw in the bird's eye. You get, a, um, get a feel for the rail car um, infrastructure. You can you can see how old these look as well. And again, you have that uh, fantastic brickwork in the streets. And a little dome on the corner. Makes you wonder if there's something over here, maybe. Maybe not. Bit of a different shape. Interesting nonetheless. The St. Ambrose College, we'll see a few structures from that as well. This one difficult to find in uh, photograph form. All I have for you is the postcard. Quite a few schools actually in Davenport, as you will see. Uh, let's get to the Bank and Trust Building. We are told this one was built in 1927. And we have a few photographs to supposedly prove that. Um, here's one. So this is October 11th, 1927. And we're told this was opened in 1927, so that's a little bit suspicious because there seems to be a lot more work to go before this thing could be called um, finished in any way. And we'll just take a look at a few of the uh, a few pictures of the interior, just to just to give you an indication of um, what type of work might have been involved to take this thing to completion. This is the uh, that main area. You can see the front door here. Let's look back here. I suspect it's either here or here, possibly here. Don't know for sure. If you're local, uh, please add your flavor. And let me know. Uh, black and white looking straight up at that ceiling and you can see all the ornamentation involved here are these swans a lot of detail what about this what's this again now we're looking at a phoenix or a griffin or a variation of those we have some faces here very interesting depictions for this uh, bank building in Davenport Iowa Here's a good shot of of the interior there. So um, timeline as far as this being completed, again you have some interesting ornamentation here. This is dated to April 11th that same year. I don't know if they're trying to tell us that this is the foundation um, or the demolition of what came before difficult to tell or is this dating way off uh, hard to trust much really but uh, seems a bit far-fetched to think that this structure went up in uh, in within that year if you look at uh, how immense that structure is and you can see the ornamentation up top here the Eagles here's a closer look at those and it just makes you wonder is it an Eagle I suspect it is it looks like it could be wrong Okay, that's the Bank and Trust Building in Davenport. Moving on, we have a depiction of a rather large brewery. And you can see the old steam trains and the horse and buggies depicted out front as well. We have an opera house. This is the Bertis Opera House. Um, located here in this photo, next to the Kimball House. A early hotel. And we have also a Bertis house. And just a drawing, of course. Moving on to the Capitol Theater. This is an interesting building as well. You can see, you can just barely make out the ornamentation here. Um, I'll show you at a modern day just to give you a better idea. I had trouble finding a, a crisp view of all of this. 
looking like we have quite a bit of detailed ornamentation on the front of this building. And uh, as you go to the interior of the building, you really get a sense of how uh, how beautiful this uh, would have been on the interior, or maybe still is. And there's a color look at, uh, as we're viewing the uh, stage area, what you might see. And then a look at um, the upper reaches of that uh, that theater, and uh, just just of that sort of embossed look again, um, of all the detail involved up there. A beautiful looking structure. I also have a photo looking like it's probably a ceiling view. Not sure where in the building, but uh, fantastic looking theater. Capital Theater. Macaroni and Cracker Factory. Large structure. Early time period. And now remember, we, we're looking at a city of uh, about 30,000 people, really, um, for when all of these were supposedly either built or had uh, are being uh, depicted in these postcards. We have a Soldiers and Sailors Monument. We often find these all over the states. Out in front of this uh, Grace Cathedral. And a nice street scene just to give you an idea of the uh, types of buildings. And that obviously at this time period looking like ooh, 50s, 60s. Um, these buildings have been around for quite some time. Not looking new at all. And here we're looking at a mansion, a postcard of a mansion that's obscured by the trees. Seems a bit silly to uh, use this photograph for the postcard to highlight the structure. You'd think you would have moved the camera a little bit, and gotten a clearer shot of the um, structure itself, which is the, they're trying to highlight in the photo or the postcard. They have a Central Park in Davenport with the Palm House looking like a community greenhouse type structure which we can see across the states once again. There's the back end of that cathedral, the Grace Cathedral. Interesting roof shape here with that uh, half cone shape. Looking quite old as well. I'm also seeing a, what appears to be a heavy, heavy Catholic theme in Davenport. Many of these old structures having a St. Mary's um, or a, a Immaculate Conception, a Sacred Heart, and uh, many of the, uh, the canon of uh, Catholic uh, saints. commercial club here on the corner, the home of community service, looking like the city hall back here, which we'll take a closer look at moving forward. One of two post offices we'll see in this uh, video. This is a modern day look at the Central High School. Not a great photograph, apologies for the blurriness, but you can you still get a sense of the uh, um, the depth and weight of the building as we look at this photograph. There's that uh, spectacular bank building we looked at earlier in the modern day, rising high above much of the city. The dome and cupola highlighted here. The First Presbyterian Church, quite a magnificent structure. I like this uh, postcard, it really highlights the brickwork and the streets. Uh, still stands, here we are looking at it in modern day. And again, that 
contrast between a modern day photograph and the old black and white um, really showing the uh, again the the depth and weight of these uh, old structures and here we have a group of gentlemen out front of that church the first presbyterian and the pipe organ featured on the interior Here we're looking at St. John's Methodist Church, yet another magnificent structure, stone church structure, having the old. This is a very interesting feature too. Often these are gargoyles, this looking like some sort of corbeling. Could it have been that something stood on top of these once upon a time? Seems a bit odd. Moving on to the old city hall. Here we have a, an old postcard, so they're saying this was built in 1895. Not looking much different today than it did when it was first built. And you can see the pristine um, shape this is in, despite the fact that it's 130 years old. And uh, that will come into play as we look at the courthouse, which has a completely different narrative, which I find interesting. They're calling this the old clock tower. I'm not sure what the building was used for. And here we have a lineup trying to get into that uh, Colosseum we saw earlier. You can, uh, you can see the shape of it there. A little domed structure. Very early depiction. I think we saw this in that 1857 um, map drawing. Again, always with that ornamentation. Nothing plain about these old structures whatsoever. This is the Cook Library. Not much on this. Uh, there is another library uh, in Davenport, the Carnegie Library, of course, gifted to uh, the people of Davenport by one philanthropist by the name of Andrew Carnegie. Here's the old courthouse. Now let's let's dig into the uh, into the story behind this. I've snipped a, a little write up from the Wikipedia page. Um, so built in 1886, very early time period. Let's uh, let's read a little bit about this in the Beaux Arts st style, of course. Um, they give us the architect as usual and, and the type of stone it was made out of. Thank you for that. And then all the detailing, the sizes. So interesting they can give us all these details, but they can't. They don't give us a timeline, they just tell us built in this year. This is very uh, very typical of the um, bare bones narrative we're given of the past. Um, they're telling us the weight of the, the uh, large central dome, and that will come into play because as uh, they also give us the cost, 125000 As time went by, the courthouse was built on sandy soil and slowly sank, they tell us. So, so they built this amazing structure and they didn't factor in um, the, the medium of the, of the subgrade below. I find that after looking at that city hall, I find it difficult to believe. This is a magnificent structure and it looks like it was very well thought out the way that it was built. Nevertheless, this is what they tell us. Um, they had a large vault down below on the ground floor and it dropped below grade level. Now is that an indication that uh, this was this did go below grade? They're saying the stairway was, stairway was retroactively constructed down to that vault after it had dropped. Then we have termites entering the picture, um, starting to eat away at the wooden beam. And let's complete this story, shall we? The, the building continued to sink into the sandy soil it was built on, necessitating costly repairs. So the solution they came up with to alleviate the weight of the building was to remove that dome in 1932. That's where that weight of the dome comes into play. Um, the courthouse continued to sink, so they took down the tower wall as well. Um, 450 tons of brick which had supported the dome were removed. Uh, and then they used chemicals to get rid of the termites. But they all failed. They worked so hard to keep this thing up, it seems. Um, eventually, we got to a point where 
they got a grant to build a new courthouse and the old structure was finally torn down in March of 1955. And it certainly would be interesting to hear, hear um, a story from somebody who was around at that time. Uh, I guess at this point it would have been, it'd be very old. But uh, if there's anyone out there that knows anything about that courthouse, would love to hear more about it. The Turner Hall we have here, nice beautiful looking domed corner, brick, ornamented brick building. There's a Presbyterian church again. This is an old German school, not a great picture, but it has the little, the dome, or not a dome, I guess, but the uh, mansard style uh, roof. Apologies if I'm mixing up my terminology. Uh, this is a Davenport High School, and you can, again you can see the tower up here. One, two, three, and then you have a lower story, obviously going down into the ground. Old structure. Apparently another high school. Well, seems a strange shape for a school. Not to say that it's not, but... The Hotel Blackhawk. So we have several of these types of hotels in Davenport. Uh, not looking like much from the outside. And just a little look at the interior ballroom area to give you an indication of the type of detail that was included in this building. The Hotel Kimball, which we looked at earlier. There's the old uh, opera house here next to it. Uh, obviously this is a time period where they've installed all these silly um, awnings over the windows. Seems very strange, doesn't it? Hotel Mississippi or the Mississippi Hotel. And we have the Mercy Hospital here. Again, tied in with uh, that um, Catholic theme, usually the Mercy, the Sisters of Mercy. The old post office, old castle post office from the 1800s, needing to be downgraded to something a little less castle-y. We saw the other post office earlier. Immaculate, Immaculate Conception um, Academy here. So it's a Catholic high school for girls. Can't see much of it, but I couldn't really find a better uh, angle. But you can see the decoration and ornamentation here. Yet another theater, the family theater. Just some, uh, just a street scene for you. Love the arches, really. Built into the uh, into the ridge line of the roof. Yet another one of those uh, spectacular old mansion buildings in Davenport. Mary Crest College. Uh, Again, not looking too spectacular, possibly the roof line has been uh, dressed down over time. Here's the front entry area. Not sure, but I thought I would include it. The old Masonic Temple, bit of a ghost, this building. Uh, not a lot on this whatsoever. You'd think maybe you would uh, want to hold on to some of that as well as, as a part of the, uh, the history of the region. Nice looking structure. Uh, yet another Masonic temple, built for the modern day, apparently. We'll keep moving. There it is again. This is supposedly another shot of that Mercy Hospital. Not much to look at, though. There we go. This one's a little bit better, I think. You can get a you can get a sense of the ornamentation and the size of the structure as well. I do believe used as an asylum. This postcard from 1907. 1907, we're looking at less than 40,000 people living in Davenport. 
St. Luke's Hospital. They call this one the Old Madison. I'm not sure what it would have been used for. Oh, I think possibly schools. We're going to go through a slew of... This is the Old Van Buren. Looking very isolated. And the Old Washington. With the tower cut off in the photo. So I think a slew of old schools is what we're looking at there. The Parker Flick House. Now I really like the uh, the decorative roof uh, shingles that you get on these old structures. Really amazing architecture. And we are coming to the end of the file here. And I'm curious, what did you think? What did you expect from Davenport, Iowa? Did you know much about it? Are you from the region? Were you born and raised? Do you have stories to tell? Um, I always find it interesting, these uh, stone and brick uh, towered buildings with their domes from the 1800s. I always find it very interesting just to think about um, the amount of work that would have gone into uh, building these structures with such small populations and with the, uh, with the limited technology they had at the time. I just find it very interesting. And then you get those silly stories, um, like we read in that Wikipedia write-up about that courthouse. and it, it makes me scratch my head. I, I don't know about you, but there, uh, I think there's more to the story. As I often say in my videos, I haven't been as um, overt about that in this video as I am in many of my other videos. But as we look across the continent and the end of the realm, really, um, we're looking at infrastructure infrastructure that was much more firmly entrenched, I think, than uh, than our historical narrative allows for. I think uh, I think there has been a time distortion. And they've shortened our timeline as far as uh, the development of these places. For To what end, I'm not exactly sure, although I have my theories, but I'll leave them out of this video. Here's the St. Catherine's School. Yet another high school. Now, is that the one we saw earlier? Possibly. The monument out front. The fire station, which we don't get a lot of detail in this postcard, looking very smoothed over. I couldn't find a photograph of this one either. And now we go back to that St. Ambrose College and some of the structures there. This is the Lewis Hall. This is the uh, main building of that uh, Ambrose University. Really, something else again uh, tying in nicely with that uh, mansion we just looked at. You can see the patterns on the roof here. Amazing. This type of architecture is truly amazing. To build that into the um, roof is quite an undertaking, I must say. More of that uh, detail in the roof here. The old St. Margaret's Cathedral. I'm not sure if I have it. It's a Margaret's or sure if you're local again correct me if I'm wrong there's that Trinity Episcopal uh, we saw very early on in the uh, video um, in the modern day giving you a sense of the depth of that uh, stonework and a Trinity Church again old stone church of Davenport Another look at the Turn Hall and Opera House, and we're going to end on a YMCA. Okay, so this has been a look at Davenport, Iowa. Um, probably worth a look at the uh, Quad Cities surrounding it as well. Um, what did you think? Did uh, did it match your expectation? Thanks for watching.